Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in my art room. This is actually the end of the video, but I'm doing the intro. We are going to make this room organized because it was a really big mess for a long time. All of my shop stuff was disorganized, all my art materials were everywhere. It was a bit of a mess. So we're gonna go through, tidy it all up a bit and then do a little room tour at the end. So I hope that you enjoy it and I guess I'll see you in the past. Okay, bye. So this is one section that I really want to get sorted out. It's the Etsy or the uh, online shop section. As you can see, I've got <laughs> stuff everywhere. I've got all my new stickers here, I've got my old scene, I've got some new postcards in these boxes, packing stuff, um, boxes, washi tape, old like stock there, envelopes, um, there's just a lot guys and there's, I just want to make the best use of this Calax because right now it's just chaotic. I'm sitting on the floor because there's no space but uh, basically I just spent like 40 minutes online. I was on Amazon, I was on Ryman, I was on Ikea and then I was on like random sites. I was on YouTube looking at how other people store their stuff and I don't want to spend more money on things. I have like so much random storage boxes and stuff. I just don't think I'm, I'm organized very well. So I think I've been looking. I did put a whole bunch of stuff in my Amazon basket and I deleted it because storage boxes are expensive. Um, I don't know why and also they're all the wrong size so because I have the Calax I don't know if you guys a lot of people have the Calax and it's just like super awkward to find stuff to fit into it everything if you want it to fit perfectly um, you have to like seems like you have to make it yourself or you have to go on Etsy and buy something that someone else has made that's really expensive or you just have to buy things that don't fit and like hodgepodge it together so what I'm gonna do is just try and empty out all of my storage stuff so I have like random things like these which have old stock in I have um, like a paper storage bin I have some drawers uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm just gonna have to try and reorganize some stuff and also in the wardrobe which is here I want to empty out the top of there and put things like uh, big envelopes and boxes things like that that I don't need every day, that I just need occasionally when people buy like bigger items. So I think that's going to be a good plan. Uh, Martin came in, I told him that I was tidying the office this week, I was organising it. And he came in and saw the mess on the floor and he just laughed and walked out. So um, it's always dark as before dawn. <laughs> we have our landlord coming on um, Thursday which is in two days to do like a house inspection. So I need to get it done by then. So that right at the back of the wardrobe is going to be the junk corner. Stuff like computer bits, boxes, you know, just like random stuff that I do not need, but I want to keep, I guess. So I emptied out this box and I thought this box would be perfect to go up in the wardrobe. And I'm going to take all of these out and put them in there nicely. So I made these back when I was living down south when I had my silhouette and everything and my guillotine and I was getting really into stuff. Um, I'm not really into that anymore, but I have so much stuff. I have a few note notepads, and then I have all of these notebooks. They're kind of all different designs, and they have all different types of paper in. So I've got this box here, I've got that box over there, and I've got a few random bits in this one. So I think what I'm going to do is pop them in here, and then when I open my do my Etsy thing in a couple of weeks, hopefully I can do like a sale and try and get rid of some of the stock. I made this like portable... Um, order pack in box with kind of everything I need to pack orders so I've got some stickers in there I've got big envelopes I've got some like uh, stuff to put things in this is all A5 if you need, need anything bigger I have to get bigger but I've got some little envelopes I've got my bird sticker um, my bird tape that I use and then I've got some washi tape that I use I've got my scissors I've got this thing to make sure the parcels are thin enough 
I've got some freebie stickers at the bottom. I've got some more little extra stickers. And then I've got my new postcard, which is going to come out in the next update. And my old postcard that I'm just doing right now. So I'm going to leave that at the top of the cupboard. And then I can just take this out. And it's got kind of everything I need just for general orders for sticker sheets and smaller prints and things like that. I thought that was a good idea. Turns out I'm quite clever when I want to be. Also, I was going through um, all of that junk in all those boxes that I was showing you. Not junk, I shouldn't say that. Um, all of the old old, old um, notebooks and things. And I found heaps of prints that I've like printed out, like little ones. And I found a whole bunch of like sticker packs that I've just, I guess, I just never stuck together and put in on Etsy. So I can go through my stuff again. Uh, I also found like heaps of stuff that I had um I got like moon stickers on there and I've got like old kind of things that I was going to use for notebook covers which I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with but yeah I had to go through that and sort it out I also found a really old thank you card that I made uh, it must have been like at least two years ago this one with the robins I think it's quite cute I made that at home It's day two of Operation Cleanup and I've got about an hour before work. I'm not quite sure how much I'll get done, uh, but I've got to get started because I didn't make a dent yesterday. So this is basically what I've got left. Um, I've put all of my uh, stickers and everything in order. I need to get some cards to make index cards. And then I've just got this little bit to kind of figure out. And then next, I'm not sure what to do. I have all these like Ikea boxes filled with unorganized stuff. I'm not sure if I should just keep this as junk and do this another time because I really just want to see if I can organize this. Um, find a place for this stuff down here which is like paper making things, organize my sketchbooks and organize my art supplies. So I think that's probably the most important. Look at this bag. It's just a huge bag of pens and stuff. Oh dear. Five o'clock on, I don't know what day it is. Same day. Um, technically still at work right now, but I finished all of my work and I'm just copying some files over. So <laughs> snuck out of work, which is just in the other room there. <laughs> and I'm here. Let's see how we're getting on with the organization. All right, I have Oh, look at all those sexy empty boxes there. You know what really saddens me about the IKEA units? Um, how big they are. Because look, I have this little guy here. I need him to be kind of easy to access, but look at all the space to space. And I know you can get the shelves, but they come, I think it would just be awkward, you know, cause they come like, I don't think it would fit. I could put him on top of something, but then what if I want to get that thing? I'd have to move him off. It's a very annoying. And yes, he is a he. I don't know what his name is yet. I think it's Murphy. I think it's Murphy. Um, so I have like some bits. Basically, this is what I've done. All, um, <laughs> let's start again. All printmaking stuff here. So in these three. So printmaking Murphy, my, my friend Murphy. Um, this little shelf that I'm putting, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but like in between stuff, um, test things. There's like little stamps and stuff in these boxes. Trace and paper. In here are these drawers that I got from Martin's mum. Actually, it was from the garage. They were throwing that out and they were like, do you want these? And I said, no. And Martin said, yeah, we'll take them. I didn't want them because I've had drawers like this before and they're very annoying. Look at this. Can't, they're impossible. I don't like them. Like, look, what? Come to the front. Don't, don't be at the back. It's got stuff in there anyway. Um, I've kind of organized some books around, some Books are in different places. I've organized all my sketchbooks and made sure they're in the right numbers. And what else? Okay. Um, Etsy stuff here that I don't need much, kind of like packaging, extra packaging stuff. Stuff down there, zines and pin badges that I don't need. Um, oh, uh, all of this stuff. I need to get some index cards for these. Postcards, stickers, extra bits of stuff back there. And I need to get rid of this too, because I don't quite know what that is, just some more just random junk. But this is the main thing that I'm doing now. I've gotten all of my art supplies on the floor here. 
and let's point to them <laughs> with my stripy socks. So we have um, pastels, we have paints, we have um, what is this, what is this stuff? You know, other stuff, palettes, jars, paint brushes, uh, stuff. Over here in the section, we have pencils and crayons. This bag here, I need to sort out. And lastly, over here is all my spares, like uh, bits I don't need yet, you know, like pencils that haven't run out yet, but will in the future. And then of course we have my art cart, which is gonna stay the same. And let's not look at the desk, because it's very messy. So I think we're getting there. I really wanna finish tonight if I can. I don't think I'm going to finish tonight, guys, but maybe tomorrow morning before work. The dilemma I'm having at the moment, the, the biggest dilemma I'm having right now, do I separate my coloured pencils <laughs> by colour? Because right now they're by brand. Um, so, like, I have my Luminance one, the um, Durban, Durban one's in another one, you know, like that, like that. Do I separate them and have them greens and blues and reds and pinks or whatever? I don't know. Because I, I know lots of people do this and I think it would, I have been thinking about this, I, I thought about this like for a year ago, I didn't do it, I was, I was too nervous, too scared to try something new. Uh, I know lots of people do it like when I'm drawing sometimes maybe I don't just want a luminance, I want a, another green, you know, that you can only get in polychromos or I, I want an inky Derwin Intense pencil or something and then I have to search for it. So. I do want to try it, I think. I'm not sure how many jars I'm gonna need. And also, where, where did I keep it? Because right now I just have this lovely... Right now I just use this guy, pretty much. I say 90% of the time. He's got all my luminous pencils in. I just pick him up, I dump him onto the desk, and that's, that's, how, I, that's how I roll. So imagine if I had six different jars, like on my desk, all lined up. It would be A, it would take up a lot of space, and B, I would get all the different colours out, because I don't know if you know this about me, guys. Um, I use a lot of colours. I can't, I can't limit, what is a limited palette? I don't know, 17 colours? 23? Something like that. Um, so, yeah, I would get all the, I would get all the pencils out onto the, onto the desk, and then I'd have to tidy them all the way, it would be very annoying. On the other hand, maybe I'd use more pencils. It's a dilemma, I'm facing it. So hopefully I find out, hopefully something speaks to me, like the universe gives me a sign of what to do tomorrow. <laughs> Until then I gotta tidy this mess up, so yeah, let's do that. I'm on the floor again, and uh, I'm just sorting out my colored pencils. So on Instagram I did the poll, should I um, do my pencils by brand or by color? And the majority was for colour, which, uh, I mean, if I hadn't liked the, the choice, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, you know, just done what people told me to do. But uh, the actual fact is I, I was kind of wanting to separate them by colour because I don't, like I mentioned, I don't use so many of them. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's a work in progress. But basically, I've got them all set out into kind of like rainbows, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, browns, and black and white, greys. And then these are special colours, like pastel colours or ones that have different colours in them. So obviously this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot and I still have to go through this bag. But um, basically, I'm thinking of like putting these together, maybe putting the browns with the oranges, something like that, so I can pair them down a bit. And I did have some anxiety. <laughs> so stupid. I did have a little bit. I was like, oh god, separating my luminous pencils. Um, so sad. But what I think I'm gonna do is this one here. I'm gonna keep empty this little mug because I love this little mug. And I'm gonna put it on my desk. And then I'm gonna try and use all of these colored pencils like so much. Like I'm gonna try and just use a lot of them. And all of my favorite ones that I just cannot bear to keep finding I'm gonna put into this pot and have it on my desk because that's like my favorite favorites I think that'll be really good so right now I've got all of these I basically did this when I moved house when I moved house last time if you don't know we moved here like I think it's about five months now and our last house I really we really loved when I found out that we had to move because the landlord wanted to move back I was really sad and I had a bit of a crisis like I had a bit of a 
a temper tantrum and I didn't think that we could find anything because the market was so bad like we were so lucky to find this house it was the first house we looked at and we we got it so the last time we looked for a house it took us like six months to find a house and it was just it was just awful basically I had a bit of a temper tantrum <laughs> because I was like well I'm not gonna have enough room am I to do art if we're gonna have like a two-bedroom flat above a shop I was I was, in a, I was in a mood let me tell you so I kind of went on a bit of a rampage in my art room and I took all of my stuff like all of the things that I don't normally use I put them into this big bag and a whole bunch of other stuff too like I've sorted it all out now but I basically had stuff in boxes that we were going to take to Martin's parents house to put in their attic to like store then it turns out we were fine we got this house plenty of room um i'm lucky enough to have this entire room all to myself apart from when visitors stay and they sleep on the couch but yeah i'm very lucky and i'm able to have all of my lovely art supplies so i'm gonna sort through this box now <laughs> poor poor art supplies this was like these are the rejects so i'm gonna sort through them now and hopefully get using them again it's Friday! I started organising the room on Monday I think so I've done a little bit every day. This is what it's like so far. Guys are so tidy and organised. I'm so excited to make it a mess again. I'm um, really annoying because remember I said the land person was coming yesterday, the real estate agents, to do our house inspection. Well tidy and organised all of my room, tidy and organised the entire house, like everything's so nice and tidy and clean. And she came in and she didn't even go in any of the rooms. She just stood in the hallway, asked us a few questions, tested the smoke alarm, tested the smoke alarm upstairs, and was like, cool, okay, bye, and left. And I was like, she didn't even come in my art room and I organised it and um, I was a bit annoyed. <laughs> but at least it's clean now for the weekend. So I'm going to do a proper little tour at the end of the video, but I just wanted to show you this little thing that came from Jackson's. I remember my beautiful pastels here well I got this from Jackson's it's like a little case opens up sorry one-handed opens up like this and it's got room for 36 pastels ta-da I got them all in there um, I think this is gonna get very very dirty very fast I'm not sure if it's like the best for pastels if I'm gonna be honest but it's fine, I don't use them much, so if I start using them a lot and I like get really into it, I'll think of something else. But these are all um, the nice ones, <laughs> I forgot the name of them. They're the good ones. And then on this side is the Jackson Art ones, which are still nice, but I don't think they're as nice. I'm not an expert, but yeah, that's just my opinion, not as nice. I also tore out a bit of this paper because I figured it would be good to have something. Oh, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, I thought they were all going to fall out. And it's not like <laughs> the prettiest, but uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, and look, Jackson's, there you go. There we go, finished. Me again, I'm on the floor, my favourite place. And <laughs> that sounded weird, but I love sitting on the floor. Do you guys like sitting on the floor? Uh, it's very comfy for me. And I, I have took a very wet and rainy... Um, moody walking to town this morning to do some chores picked up a whole bunch of color paper packs of them i'm gonna try and make um the in you know the things that go in between my stickers and postcards um for etsy and also i went to the art shop and picked up a little treat so i have four gaps left in here and that won't do so i picked up some uh, unison pastels that's the name of them I couldn't remember the name of them the other day the unison soft pastels I just picked up four colors that I don't have and that I thought might be nice so kind of like a plummy wine color an orange peach and two sea greens Hello and welcome to the end of the video. It's been about a week since I finished organising the room and then uh, last week I made it really messy again. I've since tidied it up so it's all ready for a mini tour. Uh, it's not going to be one of those cool professional tours that you see where you go through everyone's drawers and they show you all of their colour coded pencils. Here's my colour coded pencils. I'm going to show you a nice tidy clean art room. You may never see it like this again until the next organisation. Let's begin. We enter the room. 
I just want to quickly show you this. This is my plant ruby and she was suffering, but she is since she has flourished, I started to, started to water her. This is my new mosaic plant, doesn't have a name yet. This is a fun switch to turn the lights on and off because they're all smart lamps, which I really hate. This is a crocheted cloth that I actually found in our last house behind a radiator and I cleaned it and stole it when we moved. <laughs> fun. Oh, and there's my hairdryer. It doesn't have a place, it just lives on the floor. Ta-da! All right, here's the sofa bed with my friend the octopus. And then behind here is where I keep my big board that I put on my desk when I do pastels or when I'm filming because it stops the glare. We have these really ugly wardrobes which I've wanted. <laughs> I want to get rid of but obviously this isn't my house so I can't. Up here is where I'm going to keep uh, Etsy stuff. This is a box. I've already forgotten what's in there. I'm sure it's not important. And then this is my little mobile um, order thing that I showed you earlier. Oh, I hate these cupboards. In this section, I have um, some some of those notebooks that I had. Oh, this is like the junk part. <laughs> this is some tissue paper, some glassine, and my new hobby, crochet. But that is a whole other video. So forget you saw that. From the wardrobes, you move on to the desk. This is not the best, but this is where I hang my, where I clamp my uh, arm for my top-down camera. It's not the sturdiest and sometimes it does shake, which is a bit annoying. Then I've got one light, two lights for filming, and my microphone over there, my computer obviously, and then on the desk I keep all of my favorite things. So I've got my paintbrushes, my knee pastels, some sharp sharpeners and erasers and things. Over here I've got my cool lava lamp, which I, I rarely turn on. Um, a, a little pot of pens, with the sketchbook that I'm currently using and then these guys the Derwent Graffitin pencils that I got and I have to make a video or I have to test them out at some point this weekend then this is probably the messiest Kallax I have I still need to kind of organize this section here I've got my label printer and then at the bottom those two boxes that are still very messy I haven't organized that yet my beautiful art cart the bestest art cart, where I have all of my colored pencils that I organized, Tombow's markers, my empty cup that I'm gonna put on my desk with my favorite pencils. Down here I have all my inks and a couple of paints, and then down here, it's kind of like miscellaneous, just like random bits. And I am on a carpet, so it's not the best, but it's okay, we get by. Office assistant, Beryl, the big boy over here, the big Kallax. So on the top I have a whole bunch of random stuff just like things I've collected, things I've painted, things I've half made, a fishbowl of lights that I never turn on, felt, cacti, things like that. Then we got the printmaking stuff, I think I've shown you this, so I'll just go through it very fast. All my tools, got some books down here, we got the little guillotine and some pins and stuff. Some more Etsy stuff. I these bottom these bottom ones I just put junk in that I don't use much because they're kind of annoying to get to. So this is all my replacements. So I have stuff that I'm gonna be replacing soon. And this is actually I need to sort through. It's a whole bunch of pens and stuff. Then we have some shop stuff here. Shop stuff here, and I love how it's all organized, so much easier to find. Up here, a whole bunch of like pencils and things that aren't organized in my other pots, crayons, markers, things like that. These shelves have my pastels, some sketchbooks that I'm currently using. And then down here, this is kind of like a weird one. I just put some stuff there that I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> These are all of my dogs for doggists right now. Then we got the paints, lots of lovely paints. Sketchbooks, uh, no, more books. Then on the bottom we have these two drawers, which are full of stuff I need to sort out. And more sketchbooks. So these sketchbooks, this are, these are empty ones that I need to draw on. And then these two shelves are all of my old sketchbooks in order, which is pretty cool. 
So some more paints here, paint pens, more paints, more paints, a lot of paints and paint and stuff. Then we have the cuddly toy section and <laughs> this is to organise again, it's just a, a mess. These used to come from drawers. I don't have my Alex in my room anymore, so I don't have drawers anymore. And the best shelf, all the picture books. And then obviously in the corner, I've got my easel that I rarely use, I really should. And right in the corner is my yoga mat as well, because I sometimes do yoga up here. That is it, that is the entire tour. Um, I know it wasn't very detailed, but I didn't, like if you guys want to see anything more detailed, let me know because to me, it's kind of boring for me because it's all my stuff and I'm just like, why, does pe why do people want to see that? So maybe you've just found this boring, I don't know, let me know. Um, I still have some stuff to organise, I probably won't do that now for a while because I've had my fill of organising over the last couple of weeks. But I hope that you enjoyed it, I definitely think organising the Etsy stuff is going to help and my coloured pencils, we'll see how that works too. So I guess the only thing now is to say goodbye. So I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day or your week. Let me know if you have any like, cool tips for organising or if you do anything that you think is different or kind of cool. Uh, it'd be fun to know your organisation tips. And that's it. So I guess I will um, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.